Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at how to create better windshields inside of Blender um, using the Solidify modifier and the material offset setting inside of it. It's a pretty straightforward method that I think will be very useful for you. So what do we have here? It's just a subdivided plane, probably something like uh, what you have right now for your windshield. Uh, it has a mirror modifier, pretty standard, and a Solidify. And it should not be set to only rim, like I have it here, because it's glass. And if you're using cycles to render, uh, glass won't look very good um, if it doesn't have thickness. So very important to just disable that first step. And then what we're going to do is just duplicate it. Crank the subdivision to four for this one. And then we will disable the visibility of the solidify. You can also delete it, but just in case I disable them instead of uh, deleting it in case I need to restart. But don't worry, we won't need to restart in this video. Okay, so I just duplicated it and then I will hide this super high poly one and rename it windshield base mesh. Then selecting the lower poly one that should have its subdivision to two. I will shrink wrap it because you will need the shrink wrap modifier. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, shrink wrap modifier, shrink wrap it onto the windshield base mesh that we just created. And then this one can still have its uh, solidify modifier visible because it will be the final windshield, so to speak, in the final render. Okay, then what we can do, uh, let me just erase that group so it's similar to the one you have. Okay, inside of edit mode, you can see that we have uh, a loop of faces that run across maybe not for you it doesn't really matter to be honest for now um, what we need to do is go into the material setting of the solidify and then do a material offset set to one then what we're going to do is go into the material tab and create three slots for the material the first one will be a glass material you can use any glass material it's just going to be like the outer layer of the windshield. And let's reduce the roughness to zero, transmission to one and IOR to 1.5. I think that's pretty standard. And you can see that our windshield is not transparent, even though it's glass and we have a thickness modifier and all of that. And that is because of the material offset. So all of our faces currently have the first material slot assigned to them. But the Solidify uh, modifier that creates new faces assigns them the next material slot because of the material offset. So if we go over here and then add a, another glass modifier, you can see that now it's transparent. It works perfectly because all the faces have this offset. And now where this technique uh, really shines, in my opinion, is the ability to create this rim of plastic inside of the windshield without needing to create a separate mesh and try to tweak it with the windshield. And it's very easy to make with this method. So what you will need is a loop of vertices that run across your windshield. So um, let me just try to dissolve that one and show you how you can make one uh, very easily. Okay, so that will be what you have. Like you can see the edges are not very pretty. So another advantage to this method is to just inset it. And now if you want to clean up the border at the center, um, usually you want to do B. But in this case, since we are selecting all the faces, we cannot use B to like clean up the center border. So we'll just do that and delete the vertices at the center. And then make sure your mirror is set to clipping and move it, sorry, move it on the x-axis just so it clips like this. And now you have a loop that runs across. What we can do now is just assign this loop the second glass material. And why not just the third material that will be our plastic? Well, because we want the plastic rim to be inside the windshield. And so you have to think of it as um, the faces in the edit mode will be the outer layer. So if I assign them the second glass material, their uh, solidified faces will have the 
plastic material and the inside of it. So I'll just assign it and go into rendered view. And already you can see that we have something that looks like a rim of some sort of material that is not yet plastic, but I'll just make it black just for the demo. But you may have some issues like this is very sharp and it's not the shape I want. And usually here you will have a dip over there and this is a bit janky. So what you want to do is add some loop cuts and start tweaking the geometry. And now this is only possible without destroying our mesh because we have the shrink wrap modifier on shrink wrapping it onto the base mesh of our windshield basically. Okay. If I didn't have the shrink wrap modifier, I would not uh, use this method or I, at least I would not try to uh, shape it the way I want with like moving vertices around um, because then it would require, require sorry, a lot of work to just replace the vertices. Okay, make sure the curvature is perfect and we're not ruining the surface. Um, what I would recommend to get rid of those very sharp corners is usually just to add a second loop over here and assign this one the second glass uh, sorry the first glass uh, material <laughs> um, because again this is the outer layer and we want the solidified faces to be um plastic or glass uh, for the center section of course and now we can see that it became pretty thin so i can just slide it around and make sure that's perfect but yeah, that's basically how I do my windshields now. If you made it this far into the video, thank you very much for watching. Um, please post a comment telling me what I can improve on my videos or any ideas or, or topics you want me to cover in the future. I, I will make a video a week from now on. And yeah, thank you. And I hope you learned a thing or two. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.